All right, guys, I'm recording this at about 11 o'clock at night. And to be honest, I wasn't even sure what to say about this because it just kind of breaks my heart to see this. Um, there's a YouTube channel known as Sun Grand Studios that a lot of you, I'm sure, have seen this gentleman's videos. He has made a lot of really interesting videos from the perspective of the video game industry, from like the uh, video game developer's perspective, I should say. Given the fact that this guy has got a lot of experience in photography and video game development and music. He just seems to be an all-around, well-rounded individual who has a lot of interesting information to share, a lot of knowledge. He actually had his, I want to think his biggest video that a lot of us discovered his channel from was this one from uh, two weeks ago. This pro character designer breaks down, fixes Concord character designs. So this video got 712,000 views. I mean, I could only dream one day of having those kind of numbers on my videos. Like, absolutely crushed it and he did a fantastic job i've actually talked about his uh, videos before i know he's a viewer of the channel i'm not sure if he's a subscriber but i'm glad that he is uh, you know checks out my stuff from time to time it's nice to have kind of a discourse with other people in the same mindset same sphere i should say we're, we're all kind of in this together you know and the crazy thing is I, I guess he is a video game developer when it comes to like mobile and nintendo games uh, i'm not sure what pc games he has i've tried looking for some of his stuff on steam can't seem to find anything under the search titles of silver falls but this website of his does have uh, some information about some of his games and of course you know it says it's coming to the nintendo 3ds soon so i'm not exactly sure what his forte is when it comes to you know specific types of games it sounds like from what i've heard him speak uh, about he just likes to be an all-around, just kind of well-rounded individual, likes to try different things, try new creative things. And if they fail, he'll just kind of learn from that and try again. His biggest impact, I would say, is the fact that he is so humble in his approach to receiving criticism. So after his Concord videos became really massive, there was this one that he put out. This is from about a week and a half ago saying it's okay for you to send angry ne negative comments to me. And it's just this seven minute video of him talking about how he wants people to be happy. He wants people to learn from their mistakes and he wants them to move, go on and be productive and leave happy, productive lives. And I'm like, this dude is just like the most wholesome person on the internet that I've ever encountered. And I'm sure that you guys probably have somebody else you're thinking of like, oh no, this cat tuber. Okay. We, from my own personal experience, this guy here just seems like a great guy all around. Well, it came out about a day ago, and I was going to talk about this on the live stream, and I totally ran out of time uh, last night. He got kicked out of volunteering at a cancer hospital. Now, I've mentioned before that he's a musician, and so what he would do, um, and I'll kind of summarize this part of his video, and we'll get to him speaking about the cancellation. He would go to these cancer hospitals, and he would take, you know, a fiddle or a violin or whatever, and he would just sit there and play music for people. And, you know, it's a very fulfilling thing for him, I'm sure. And, you know, it makes life a little bit more manageable for the people who are there going through treatment. And it just seems like one of these genuinely wonderful, human, empathetic, wholesome things to do with his time. He's like, you know, I could spend more time on my developing. I could spend more time on my craft, my career. But this is something that I think I need to do just as a human. And so I'm, I think I've got it at the part here where he actually talks about where how he got canceled from this um chair i want to don't want to call it charity he was donating his time so i'm just going to play it from this part right here and it breaks my heart that people that live on twitter that don't spend any time in the real world that are now infesting all these different industries like movies and tv and video games they don't have this kind of understanding of the world they don't have compassion for other people all they care about is themselves and forcing their political views on people and then they cry and get angry when there's any sort of criticism and there's no room for them to gain any understanding any improvement as a person to become a better human being they've closed themselves off to that and it just breaks my heart and i'm going to link to this video I'll, i'm going to tag him in the in the title so he sees that we're talking and discussing him um and i'm going to link his video down in the comments down below it'll be the top line in my pinned uh, description so um, again, it hits the nail right on the head. A lot of these people that we interact with online, a lot of the, the woke left, the, the ideological left, the, the, you know, the people who just want to cancel everybody or infest everything with this weird, you know, modern DEI messaging, they don't have any compassion or empathy for human beings. They want to pretend that they are the virtuous ones. They want to pretend that they have empathy for other people. But at the end of the day, they are some of the most self-absorbed, narcissistic, evil, vapid people 
who they view every other person as an and not just an ideological enemy but like a literal enemy and if the government came and locked you up put you away in jail for saying the wrong word or using hate speech as they would call it or misgendering somebody they'd be okay with that they'd be okay with you losing your livelihood or your ability just to exist because one day they will be in a position in their lives where they'll they'll need that experience and those skills to be able to to handle what's coming their way and they won't have that and so i just want to share with you my personal frustration and that i've lost my opportunity to volunteer at the cancer hospital and the reason why i've lost that opportunity is because people from that woke community the neo-feminists who do not care about anything but taking control at all costs they want control they want power they want to tear down men they entered the sort of the arrangement at the hospital and they wanted to have a tight control over everything and now i do want to clarify real quick because i know i've seen a lot of people sharing this um around on twitter uh, some people are saying that, you know, the, the woke game, whatever, people contacted his the, the hospital and got him canceled. Based on what he says in this video, and, and uh, dude, you can feel free to correct me if, I, if you see this video. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. It sounds like you were canceled or he was canceled by the people that were running the program or people at the hospital themselves, not somebody who's like, I'm going to call your job and get you fired situation. Still, it's still the same issue we're seeing where these woke ideologues are canceling people just for disagreeing with their beliefs that they're pushing on people. But I just wanted to have that clarification. And anyone who did not bend the knee, they bullied and pushed out. And so I had been volunteering at the cancer hospital for about a year. And then these woke neo-feminists came in and assumed control and exerted their power in a way that made the environment unpleasant and unmanageable. And so I was pushed out of that environment because I would not bend the knee to these neo-feminists who the internet would describe as woke. But it's, it's more than just woke. It's neo-feminism and it's not about them fighting for equality. It's them fighting for superiority and control. They don't care about the damage that they cause to the world around them. And I am upset, not for myself, but for the people that I was able to help even a little bit, to bring a little bit of brightness to their day. I no longer can do that at that. And he does go on to discuss um, more of the details of like his interactions with people that were there, but I'm going to leave that for you to watch on his channel. I don't want to steal his video and, and just play the whole thing for you guys here. So again, that's going to be linked down in the description below. And this is like the real life version of what we're seeing in the video game industry, what we're seeing in entertainment. So again, we all sit here and bitch and complain because, you know, woke people are making our video game characters ugly and they're not making games for gamers and they're trying to push political messaging and ideology in the game. And that's all bad. I'm not, I'm not going to minimize that, the effects of that. But this is a gentleman here who I don't know personally. But something about his approach has resonated with me greatly the last few weeks watching his content. And to find out that not only was he donating his time, but his, his heart and soul into helping these people just kind of get through their, their treatments. And then to be canceled because he had disagreements with people who did not believe that all people are actually equal. He, you know, people that want to push this idea that we have to prop up others to make things fair. And again... Go check out his video. Go subscribe. This dude, he deserves all the love and support you guys can give him. And I'm going to leave it right there because I don't want to start crying. All right. See you guys later.